everyone and welcome. It's Mindy with Mindy Egan Design and today's video will go through the process of creating a distressed background and Copic coloring using stamps from Crafting Kimmy Stamps. I'm starting out with my image from the Santa Paws stamp set from Crafting Kimmy Stamps. I stamped it onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock with Simon Says Stamp Black Ink which is a Copic friendly ink. When I color, I like to work darkest to lightest with the exception of skin. So I always lay down my lightest color first to give it a base to work with. In this case, my lightest is E00. Then I go back and start at the darkest, which is the E04. I lay down where I think shadows are going to go, and then I will slowly start to blend inwards using E11, E21, E01, and E00. I will always have these colors listed below the video and they'll also be on my blog as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on some peppy music while I color this adorable image. See you in a bit. Now that the coloring is complete, I'm going to go ahead and work on my background. I'm using Bristol Smooth cardstock as I find this works best when blending with distress inks. I don't have to work my arm as hard. I wanted kind of an ombre effect, so I started at the top with the darkest color, which is the aged mahogany. I start off of the paper and in a circular motion start blending onto my paper. I just wanted the top portion be the darkest. I'm going to continue blending down the card using um, each time I go in, I'm using a little bit lighter shade, so I have a Fired Brick, Festive Berries, and Worn Lipstick. Then, at the end, I'm going to go in and spritz with water, and then I'll dab that up with a paper towel. I love the water spots that the spritzing leaves, but I really wanted to add just a little bit more to this, so I'm going to take some Perfect Pearls, and I'm going to scoop a little bit of that and some water and add that to the side on my mat. And I'm going to mix those together. You can use a paintbrush to flick on some of this, or I actually prefer using a block. So I add some of that mixture to a block, and then I'm going to flick it on to my paper from the edge of that block. I find that this just gets a better splatter, and I have more control over where my flicks are going to be. So I just do that all over the back of my card, kind of gives it a little bit of a snow effect and it's got this pearlescent look to it, so it's really pretty. So 
For my happy die cut word, I wanted it embossed, so the easiest way I found to do this is to take a piece of cardstock that will fit my word die. Then I'm going to cover the piece in Versamark ink, and then I'll take some Hero Arts silver embossing powder, and I'm going to sprinkle that over the entire section and heat it up with my heat tool. So the ink pad, I just press that down all over on my cardstock piece, get a nice, good, solid coverage. And then I sprinkle that onto just an excess piece of typing paper so I can catch that embossing powder and heating that up. For my added sentiment, I'm just using a small piece of black cardstock and line that up in my Misty. I'm heat embossing, so I used my anti-static powder tool, and then I'm going to line that stamp up in the Misty. I only want the word holidays, so once I line that sentiment up, I'm going to ink it with first mark and then taking a small post-it note and putting it over the word I don't want. Then I can stamp that down, and I'll take that and sprinkle some more of that silver embossing powder again and heat that up with my heat tool. Now here are my words all cut out. I'm just going to be arranging them where they're all going to fit and I'll trim down the black cardstock strip. Then I can go ahead and adhere my ombre background to a four and a quarter by five and a half card, white card base. And I'm just using Nina Solo White cardstock for this too. For my happy die cut word, the smart thing for me would have been to make sure it was lined up straight on the cardstock when I die cut it because I could have used that as a template to adhere that down straight onto, the, onto my actual ombre background, but I didn't. So <laughs> instead, I'm actually going to end up grabbing my T-square ruler and I'm going to line that ruler up with my grid mat underneath my card. And then I'm just going to follow along that ruler to make sure that these letters line up straight. And I'm using my Anuvo Deluxe Adhesive and some tweezers to add them on. I find that just works best. And then I'll put a block on top of it for a few minutes just to let that sit down and make sure it grips the paper. For a few finishing touches, I'm adding some sequins around the sentiment and down by the image. And then I'm just going to take my Nuvo, Nuvo Silver Moon Dust and add some drops to the middle of the sequins and around my card. I like to squeeze a little off first on some scratch paper. Uh, so in case I, it sputters at me, it won't be on my card. That completes the card for today. All the supplies are linked down below this video, also on my blog. If you enjoyed today's card, which I hope you did, please give it a big thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video. You can click here on my picture to subscribe to my channel and here are a few more videos that you may be interested in.